Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error that is connection failed, unable to connect to the ES server. So if you're receiving this error, now the first step is to disconnect USB devices from your computer. So if you have any kind of uh, USB adapter, dongle, USB flash drive, thumb drive connected, you can disconnect it and then relaunch the game and then check. That should help you to fix this error. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. If you have any uh, like external keyboard or mouse connected, you can, if you have, for example, if you have Razer Huntsman or Key Crone keyboard connected or mouse connected, you can disconnect it. And then you can also unplug the dongle related to it and then relaunch the game. Unplug external devices, like if you have uh, Hotas, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnected, disconnect headphone and then relaunch the game and then check once the game is up and running you can connect the headphone and then check next step is to spam click the retry button so when you receive the error you also see this retry option so you can just spam click the retry button uh, multiple times so it might you might have to click maybe 10 to 15 times and then it might work Next step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to open EA app before launching the game. So if you have the game on Steam, I don't have the game on Steam. If you have the game on Steam, uh, you can launch EA app in the background. And make sure the EA app is running in the background. Keep it running. And for many users, closing the EA app, EA app has also worked. So if you have the game on Steam, you can try both you can open the ea app and then try to relaunch the game from steam and then check or you can even close ea app if it's running and then you can check next step is to switch to different network so if you have any other network available uh, you can switch to different network and then you can check if that does not work use mobile hotspot so you can turn on the data on the phone turn on the hotspot on the phone now turn on the data on the phone and then turn on the personal hotspot and then find your phone network over here and connect to your phone network and then you can check still not working the next step is to turn off or turn on overlay now for this you can steam users can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game if this is on you can turn it off if this is already off you can turn it on check both now e-app users can go to uh, click over here and then go to settings and then go to application you can try both uh, in-game overlay on and off so if this is off you can turn it on and then check if it is already on you can turn it off and then check now the next step is to close all the overlay application like if you have any other overlay application running like discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running go to nvidia app settings turn off overlay and then close all the overlay application next step is to turn off or turn on vpn so many for many users turning off the vpn has worked so you can try both on and off and if that does not work you can even if you have vpn application running you can close it and then check next step is to verify and repair the game file so if you have the game on steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is done launch the game if you have the game on e app then select the game click on manage and then click on repair after the repair launch the game and then check next step is to put check on both public and private in windows uh, for the game exe file in windows firewall now for this First of all, open Windows settings. If you have, if you're using uh, Windows security, uh, in that case, you can go to privacy and security, Windows security, and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app browser apps. Go to the game installation folder. Select the game exe file. Click on open. And again, add an allowed app browser apps. Select this e anti cheat game service launcher also. And then type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall and then allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings allow another app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder select battlefield 6 exe file click on add in my case the game is already added again click on allow another app click on and then uh, but when you first of all when you add the battlefield 6 exe file in my case here you can see public and private both are checked so make sure both are checked over here and then allow another app click on browse and then 
select this e anti cheat game service launcher also click on add in my case it is already added so again uh, for e anti cheat also e javelin anti cheat make sure both private and public is checked over here and then launch the game and then check now the next step is to now do the same thing like uh, you have to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like a vast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to antivirus program next step is to go to this location and delete battlefield 6 uh, cache folder in battlefield 6 folder now for this you can open file explorer and then go to this pc open c drive users folder your username folder app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items open app data folder open the local folder find battlefield 6 over here you will see the cache uh, folder you can make a right click and delete it relaunch the game and then check this has also worked for a few players now the next step is to perform power cycle to perform power cycle shut down your computer first unplug the power cable from the computer turn off the wi-fi router wait for a few seconds and then restart your wi-fi router then connect the power cable back to the computer restart your computer and then check next step is to try google dns server now for this type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel and then go to network and internet internet options sorry not the internet options network and sharing center and then click on your internet over here and then go to properties and over here select internet protocol version 4 tcp ipv4 then click on properties select use the following dns server addresses for preferred type uh, type in 8888 8, 8, 8, and for alternate dns server type in 8844 4, 4. and then put a check on validate settings upon exit and then click on ok close this and then you can relaunch the game and then check still not working then you can try this one now for this again you can go to click on your internet and then go to properties again select internet protocol version 4 tcp ipv4 ipv4 and then this time for preferred you can type in 1 1 1 1 and for alternate again 1 0 0 and then 1 again validate settings upon exit click on ok close this and then relaunch the game and then check now still not working again go to properties and select the automatic you can select internet protocol version go to properties you can switch to automatic go to default and then you can check if that does not work you can go to properties once again and you can here you can see internet protocol version 6 tcp ipv6 you can uncheck this box click on ok and then launch the game and then check and once you are done playing the game once you are done playing the game go back and then you can put a check on internet protocol version 6 and then click on ok now the next step is to uncheck we have already done run the game as an administrator now for this you can go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed uh, you can go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file make a right click and then go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box we says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check you can if that does not work you can even run this ea anti cheat game service launcher as an administrator and then you can check still not working the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program which we have already done now the next step is to run this command so type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app and make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator and then click on yes to allow copy all these commands one by one and then paste it over here hit the entry All the commands are provided in the video description. Now, once you run all these commands, now restart the computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to use Ethernet connection. So, if your computer has an Ethernet port and if you have an Ethernet cable, use the wired connection and then check. 
the last step is to make sure date time time zone is correct on your computer so at the bottom right here you can see the date and time make a right click on date and time click on adjust date and time and make sure set time zone automatically if this is off turn it on also set time automatically if this is off turn it on and then click on sync now sync now is important if you receive any error in red color click on sync now multiple times once you see this tick over here go back to time and language language and region and then select your country make sure that your country is selected over here and then you can launch the game so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel